Hey everyone, this is Mir Hafizullah from Kabul, Afghanistan, and you're watching Trucker Josh or DJV on YouTube. everybody from the northern city of Fort McMurray, Alberta. It's not really in northern Canada yet, but it's in northern Alberta. So it's north to me because I live, I'm the weather stripping. I live right against the warmth of the United States. Down by the border. So this is north to me, but we've got to meet our customer at Walmart, apparently. I'm going to go meet him at Walmart and he's going to guide me into where we're delivering this steel that we picked up in Jackson, Tennessee five days ago now. It took us four days to drive up here. Today it would be day number five. It's delivery day. As soon as I'm empty here, I head north of town to pick up some lumber. And I take that back down to the great state of Iowa. Quite a bit of new condos or apartments that came up here recently. I can still remember when none of these were here. This is what they would classify as downtown Fort McMurray, I believe. I believe that's why there would be the big buildings. This isn't a very big city. There's only like, I don't know, I'm gonna guess like what, 50,000 people here? Something like that. Here's some history and heritage off to the right. Fort McMurray Heritage Shipyard. It's pretty cool. I'd love to go explore that in the summertime, sometime when it's open. Somewhere around here, I got a turn. I think the next left, not this one. Turn left Hospital Street. Ah, there we go, Hospital Street. And there's a Walmart there, and my guy, I have a guy. My guy is waiting there for me, or at least he's gonna meet me there. And my guy is gonna lead me into the secret destination. I don't think it's a secret. I, I just think they want to guide me in so that I don't get lost or stuck. Hospital Street, then turn right. You don't want to mess around downtown, even in a small city like this. So this is Walmart here, eh? Take the next right, then turn right. Third entrance into Walmart. That was the first one. On the right here, this is the second one. Right where those pickups are coming out, that pickup there. And that SUV, that's the third one. That's where they want me to go in, okay. Walmart is the meeting place. I got my signal on there, buddy. I wanna go in there. I guess you wanna go this way, now there's traffic. Okay, we'll all wait. Now there's a kerfluffle. Should've gone, I had my signal on. I guess they didn't realize. Oh, that guy, that's my guy right there, following him. Big pickup truck. That's a nice pickup, look at that thing. Nothing says Alberta more than that. That, that is the heartbeat of Alberta right there. So I gotta follow this guy wherever he's taking me. I have a feeling we're going to that building over there that's being built. Over off to the left, it's like got a bluish, it's a hospital, right? No, 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 there's another building being built on the right here. There's a whole bunch of stuff being built. Oh, good, good guys, keep building stuff so that I can deliver stuff to you, keep building. This is a really messy day. Continue on Alberta 63 south for six kilometers. This is one of those, you know, on Alberta 63 four jugs of washer fluid type of day. going on the, the big bypass here, bypassing Fort McMurray on the way back. So the steel took all morning to get unloaded and I got to, uh, got to my reload uh, around about 
noon, just afternoon, and it only took a half hour, 45 minutes there to get reloaded, and now I have a load of heavy lumber behind me. Somebody building something in Iowa? I'm on the way. Got your lumber from Northern Canada. I guess technically it'd be Central Canada. I keep forgetting, we got a whole lot more land up north yet. This is still Southern Canada. <laughs> to me, it's north. Anything north of Winnipeg is north to me. Actually, you know what? I'd stretch that up to Saskatoon and Edmonton. Anything north of Saskatoon and Edmonton, that's Northern Canada to me. What do they say? 95% of us Canadians live within 100 miles of the U.S. border. So, like, we call ourselves the weather stripping. We're right against America, keeping ourselves warm. There's a lot of dings and stuff going on in here again. Eh? I think I'm stopping right away. There's a flying jay just down around the corner here. Let's see what's going on with my phone. It's just exploding here. Someone must have told it that I wanted to talk to you guys and it figured it would make a lot of noise and try to interrupt me. Gotta make sure you got lots of washer fluid today. That's good though, that means it's warm. All the snow's melting. Also means your truck is filthy all the time. My truck out looks like it's brown right now. It, it doesn't even look white anymore, it looks brown. It's a free paint job. Officially rolling on our way home. We're uh, 1,569 kilometers away from home. We've got to head south first now to the Yellowhead Highway, which is our other Trans-Canada. Uh, that's a few hours down to get there yet. And then we'll take the Yellowhead Highway all the way home. Won't be getting home today or tomorrow yet. Well, I might be able to make it home tomorrow, but if I do make it home tomorrow, it's going to be super late. So I think I'm just going to sleep in the truck and uh, head home the next day. And this truck is now getting a safety next Monday instead of February. It's getting done this next week. So I've got to have it at the shop on the weekend so it's ready Monday morning. Because I'm hoping that it's not going to take more than a day to do the safety. Because in the evening... I don't want to head out with this load towards Iowa yet. So hopefully they don't find anything that's going to take a while to fix. I don't think they will. I mean, this truck's in good working order. I take care of it. I maintain it. Should all be good. Safeties here in Canada, is that they do a yearly inspection every year. And it's a pretty intense one. They take the wheels, brake, drums apart and everything. They check everything. About 500 bucks just to get it done, plus whatever they need to fix. I've got a crack forming in my windshield as well from one of the lovely drivers who threw a rock at me. So this windshield's gonna need to get replaced. That's another 400 and some dollars. So just the windshield and getting the safety done is about $1,000. Then if they find anything that needs to be fixed yet, it's on top of that. Goody. Life is fun, isn't it? Back on the two-lane highway. Be the rest of today, I'm pretty sure. Got a ways before we get to the Yellowhead. Gotta stop somewhere and clean my lights off. I guarantee you, they're just covered in dirt. Clean them off before it gets actual. Before it actually gets dark, and I actually need them. I'm going to find a place to pull over, though. There's a small town here, but I don't think there's anywhere for me to pull in here. We are so heavy. I've got about 44, 44, 45,000 pounds of wood on my trailer. It was so nice pulling that 16,000 pounds of light steel up here, but what's weird is I'm getting better fuel economy now with this heavy load than I was with that load. That's how much that load caught the air. And this one sort of just slips right through it, right? And very often the momentum of my truck with all the weight just pushed me through the air. Which I knew better now with more weight. It's strange. I've noticed 
noticed that in the past before. How far am I gonna have to go? I gotta go to the bathroom too. I can't just pull over because there's no shoulder and there's people behind me. This could be a dilemma. Who's your good boy? Ate all his treats. Oh, he missed one. You gotta eat all your vitamins before you get your treats, mate. There you go. Eat it. Eat that. Have your vitamins. Your glucosamine, man. It's good for your joints. Who's your good boy? Who gets not only one treat, but two treats? Oh. Oh. Let's put this one right here for later. Yeah, right there. Oh man, those smell so good, I want one. He gets his treats after he takes his vitamins in the morning. Good boy. We're gonna keep these joints nice and lubricated, nice and oiled so you don't turn into a rusty old tin man. Good boy. Yeah, we made it to this little town here. Um, There, this is where we made it to. A little different scenery than was in Tennessee, eh? But I didn't want to go too far yesterday. We stopped here. We had a really good night. I read two chapters of my book yesterday. Two chapters. And now... You have 13 hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. All right. So we have a, a new day ahead of us here. We're going to start that in tomorrow's vlog. Let's figure out where we are here first to give you a little bit of a... A little bit of an idea where we're at. Let me ask the Googles. Google! Where are we? Sometimes you just gotta yell at her. Elk Point. We're in Elk Point, Alberta. At a little gas station here. What's this gas station called? I'm zooming in. I just don't feel like walking over there to figure it out. Google, we're at Husky Truck Stop. I don't see any signs for Husky anywhere. This is not Husky. Oh yes, there's, on those tanks over there it says King's Energy. And there's no Husky signs anywhere. That's where we are. So thanks for joining us today. We have a new load behind us. I'll just go out and give you a quick peek at it because I don't think I gave you a peek at it. Unloaded that steel that we picked up in Tennessee. It was a four day drive up here. Uneventful, which, which is a good thing. You don't want an eventful ride. 4,000 kilometers. I guess that's uh, what, 3,000 miles or so. I don't know. Four days of driving. And now we have this lovely lovely stuff weighing us down this is going down to iowa it's about three days drive from where i picked it up two days to home and then one day down to iowa i'm gonna take it down there next week when they need it there this stuff is heavy heavy with 45,000 pounds of wood right here sitting at about 79,300 pounds altogether so uh, stay out of my way. I can't stop very fast. I'll do my best to leave space, but you also got to uh, remember not to cut into that space. That's the space I need to stop. Do you hear that? You heard that, didn't you? That was the trucker's mating call. Yes, thanks for joining us. I'm excited to start tomorrow's video. I hope you tune in. You can click one of the links around here to see my video from yesterday or another video of mine. There's probably close to like 3,000 on the internet already. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know you're there and breathing. Give me a thumbs up if you did like the video. Helps me out a lot. I'll see you tomorrow.